Welcome to a remarkable journey into the intersection of artificial intelligence and materials science. Today, we're exploring an unprecedented discovery that's set to redefine the future of technology. Researchers at DeepMind have created a groundbreaking AI tool named Genome, short for Graph Networks for Materials Exploration, which has uncovered a staggering 2.2 million new crystals. This discovery, equivalent to nearly 800 years of accumulated knowledge, marks a new era in the discovery and development of materials. Gnome's achievement isn't just about numbers. It's about the potential transformation in industries ranging from electronics to renewable energy. Among these newly discovered crystals are materials that could lead to the next generation of superconductors, more efficient batteries, and even revolutionary solar panels. This video will delve into how Gnome works, its implications for the future, and the ways in which AI is not just assisting but revolutionizing the field of material science. Unprecedented scale of discovery. The Genome tool has led to the identification of approximately 2.2 million new crystal structures. This figure represents an order of magnitude increase in the number of stable materials known to humanity. Prior to this, the discovery of inorganic crystals was significantly slower often bottlenecked by labor-intensive, trial-and-error approaches. The use of genome has exponentially accelerated this process, adding a vast array of new materials to the scientific community's knowledge base. Stability of the new materials. Among these 2.2 million structures, 381,000 entries are considered stable and have been added to the updated convex hull. The convex hull in material science is a way of determining the stability of a material. Materials on the convex hull are considered to be the most stable. This significant addition of stable materials opens up new possibilities for technological applications in various fields. Impact on various various technological fields. The discovery of these new materials is not just a numerical achievement, but has profound implications for various technologies. For instance, the newly discovered layered materials, about 52,000, are promising for electronics and energy storage. This is a substantial increase from the approximately 1,000 layered materials previously considered stable. Additionally, among the genome discoveries are 528 potential lithium-ion conductors, which is a 25-fold increase compared to prior studies. These materials have potential applications in improving the performance of rechargeable batteries, a crucial component in many modern technologies. Enhanced material properties predictions, the scale and diversity of the data generated by genome, also enhance modeling capabilities for downstream applications. For example, the project has led to the development of highly accurate and robust learned interatomic potentials that can be used in condensed phase molecular dynamic simulations and for zero-shot prediction of ionic conductivity. This aspect of the discovery process extends beyond merely identifying new materials and delves into understanding their fundamental properties and behaviors, which is essential for practical applications. Setting new standards in materials. Discovery. The GNOME project represents a paradigm shift in how materials discovery is approached. Traditionally, discovering new materials, especially stable ones, has been a slow and resource-intensive process. Genome's methodology and results demonstrate the power of integrating advanced AI and machine learning techniques with material science, fundamentally changing the efficiency and scale at which new materials can be discovered and analyzed. In summary, the discovery of these 2.2 million new crystal structures by the Genome tool is a monumental achievement in material science. It's not just the sheer number of materials discovered, but also their stability and potential applications that make this development so significant. This breakthrough stands to influence various technological sectors, from clean energy solutions to advanced electronics, and highlights the transformative impact of integrating AI and machine learning in scientific research. Generation of diverse candidate structures. The initial step in the GNOME methodology involves generating a wide range of potential crystal structures. This is achieved through two innovative approaches, symmetry-aware partial substitutions, CPS. This method focuses on creating variations in known crystal structures. By making subtle changes that are aware of the crystal's symmetry, the algorithm generates new, potentially stable structures without straying too far from established stable configurations. Random structure search. In contrast to SAPS, this approach takes a more exploratory path, randomly combining elements to create entirely new structures. This method does not rely on existing templates, but rather explores a broader chemical space potentially uncovering novel materials that would not be identified through more conservative methods. Utilization of graph neural networks, GNNs. Once candidate structures are generated, Genome employs state-of-the-art graph neural networks to evaluate and predict their stability and other material properties. GNNs are particularly suited for this task, because they excel in modeling complex relationships and patterns within data, structure and composition modeling. 
GNNs in genome are adept at understanding the intricate relationship between the atomic structure of a material and its properties. By analyzing the arrangement of atoms and the types of elements involved, the GNNs can predict how a material will behave, its stability, and its potential applications. Adapting to material properties, the strength of GNNs lies in their ability to adapt their predictive models based on the input data. As they are fed more information about different materials, their ability to generalize and predict properties of new materials improves. This feature is crucial for material science, where slight changes in atomic configurations can lead to significantly different material properties. Large-scale active learning loop. The genome project employs an active learning loop, where the GNNs are continuously trained and updated with new data. This iterative process allows the models to refine their predictions over time. Feedback mechanism. As new materials are predicted and then validated, either through computational methods or experimental synthesis. This new data is fed back into the GNNs. This ongoing process ensures that the models become more accurate and reliable in their predictions. Scaling the discovery process. By leveraging this active learning loop, Genome effectively scales up the discovery process, vastly increasing the efficiency and rate of new material discovery compared to traditional methods. Layered materials for electronics and energy storage. Among the 2.2 million new crystals discovered by Genome, Approximately 52,000 are layered materials. This is a significant increase from the roughly 1,000 layered materials previously identified as stable. Layered materials have immense potential in the field of electronics and energy storage due to their unique properties like high conductivity and flexibility. These materials could be pivotal in developing more efficient and compact batteries, as well as in the advancement of flexibly electronic devices and next-generation semiconductors. The discovery of such a large number of new layered materials opens up a vast landscape for research and development in these areas, potentially leading to breakthroughs in how energy is stored and electronics are designed. Lithium-ion conductors for advanced batteries. Gnome has identified 528 potential lithium-ion conductors, marking a 25-fold increase compared to previous studies. Lithium-ion conductors are crucial for the performance of rechargeable batteries, particularly in terms of energy density, charging speed, and safety. The discovery of these new materials could lead to the development of more efficient, faster charging, and safer lithium-ion batteries. This has direct implications for a wide range of technologies, from mobile devices and laptops to electric vehicles and large-scale energy storage solutions. The improvement in lithium-ion conductors could be a key factor in accelerating the adoption of renewable energy and electric vehicles, contributing to a more sustainable energy future. Li-men transition metal oxides for rechargeable batteries. In addition to layered materials and lithium-ion conductors, Genome-E has also identified new candidates for Li-men transition metal oxides. These materials are being considered as potential replacements for LiCoO2 in rechargeable batteries. LiCoO2, while effective, has certain drawbacks such as high cost and environmental concerns. The newly identified Li-men oxides could offer a more sustainable and cost-effective alternative. They might provide better performance characteristics, such as higher energy capacity or improved safety profiles which are critical for the widespread use of rechargeable batteries in consumer electronics and electric vehicles. The discovery of these new materials could lead to the development of next-generation batteries that are more efficient, safer, and environmentally friendly. In conclusion, the discoveries made by Nomi have broad and potentially transformative implications across various technological fields. These materials hold the promise of enabling more efficient, sustainable, and high-performing technologies which are crucial for addressing the growing energy demands and environmental challenges of our time. The Berkeley Lab plays a crucial role in material synthesis, especially in the context of new materials discovered through the Genome project. A facility at Berkeley Lab, known as A-Lab, utilizes artificial intelligence to guide robots in making new materials. This integration of AI and robotics represents a cutting-edge approach to material synthesis, offering several advantages automation, and efficiency. The robotic lab automates many of the processes involved in material synthesis. This automation increases the efficiency of the synthesis process, allowing for the rapid production of new materials. Precision and reproducibility. Robots guided by AI algorithms can execute synthesis processes with high precision and reproducibility. This level of control is crucial when working with newly discovered materials, where exact conditions and processes can significantly impact the final product's quality and properties. Exploration of new synthesis routes. The AI systems in the robotic lab can analyze data from various experiments and suggest new synthesis routes or modifications to existing procedures. This capability can lead to the discovery of more effective or efficient ways to synthesize the new materials identified by genome. Validation of genome predictions. 
the successful synthesis of materials in the robotic lab serves as a practical validation of genomes predictions. It demonstrates that the materials predicted by the AI tool can indeed be realized and are not just theoretical constructs, enabling rapid experimentation. The use of robotics accelerates the experimentation process, allowing researchers to quickly test and iterate on different synthesis methods. This rapid experimentation is essential for advancing our understanding of how best to create and utilize the new materials discovered by Genomi.